Hello everyone, this is a video for 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback. This car was restored several years ago and just pretty much kept in a climate control facility with some other cars. Approximately, I'm guessing about, uh, I don't know, about eight or nine years ago it was fully restored. It is Raven Black in color with black interior. It is a factory four-speed car. And it also is a factory A-code four-barrel 289. Now, the buck tag was never present on the car uh, when it was bought by the present owner. So we cannot prove the GT options are original to the car. I can tell you this, all of the Ford options, the Ford GT options, lights, uh, the front disc brakes, wheels, etc., are all factory Ford items. Uh, the light switch underneath the dash. We're going to do a walk around video, about 10 minutes to make the video. We're going to show the car running, get underneath the car. Uh, show you pretty much everything about the car. Now the black paint, very nice. Uh, really no issues to speak of. I do know there's one issue right over here. And I will show that to you right away. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. There's a little something with the paint right there. There's no rust. This is solid as a rock. Um, what I know was changed. Had quarters replaced. Had door skins replaced. Had a trunk pan replaced. That, I know, is what was replaced on this car. And we're talking full quarters all the way up. And there is not an ounce of Bondo or filler in this whole car. I'm going to try to show you the lips. Now, bear with me. I didn't actually clean all in here. But it is solid as a rock. There's no issue in here. It's all metal. Even underneath the car. You have nice paint all through here. Beautiful lips. All the way around the whole entire car back in here all metal all metal and at the inserts here uh, let the water come out these everything's been changed in the car pretty much I'll show you the parts that uh, still were original and I show a little tiny bit of age but uh, these are new you got the trumpets coming out the rear balance correct for a GT these are new up here. Bumpers, no issue there. You got a new gas tank under here as well. You have the Ford factory steel style wheels all the way around, BF Goodrich. I'll try to show you the lips on this over here because this one's where it's showing the, uh, the sun. Well, it's hard to see. There we go. There's a little bit of it. Very nice. All in through here. Solid as a rock. All, all metal. No filler whatsoever. Seats were redone. Front and back. This is a factory fold down rear seat. Um, the lights do work. I have to change a fuse, but I promise you they do function in the back area here. You got the vents, we're in very good condition yet. Um, all back in here when you fold down the back seat, all of the panels, the rear panels, were replaced. Very good condition. Let's see if I can. I can't get it, I'm sorry. I should have uh, left it down and put it up, but I wanted to show the seats and everything. Headliner, no issues there. Rubbers are very good yet. Sun visors are good. This is a, column, uh, a factory uh, center column car as well. The seats, in very good condition as well in the backs. Door jam areas, very nice. Underneath the doors, everything painted the way it's supposed to be. All in here, all 
metal. I can't stress that enough. Very nice paint throughout in here. The door jams are nice. Um, about five minutes now, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And uh, bear with me here. I don't want to get you dizzy, but there you go. It is a 1965 289 engine. The correct intake. Uh, the carb is in the right family, but it's not a 65 carb. It, ha it has been rebuilt. It's a correct style car, but not a 65. Everything's nice in here. Uh, you know, it's not a number one car, but it's a very nice car. Okay, we'll show you the. I did take pictures of that. It's stamped here. It's stamped back here, and you can see it's a 65. And there's the A for a factory four barrel. And it's also stamped over here. Same number. Okay. Um, we do have power steering on this car. Just want to show you all in here. An original style uh, radiator. All in here. It's nice and solid. Um, Washers were left out. Somebody wants to put the washers in. That's easy. You just got to run the bag here, put the hang the bag right here, and run them. Uh, the president owner didn't care about that. He didn't have it out ever in the rain or anything like that. It was always nice and clean. These are in very good condition. I will show you. They work. I have to get going a little faster here. I want to show you the trunk compartment as well. And, uh, okay, let's see. Turn on the lights. And here's the switch right here for the fog lights. I'm going to come around and show you all the lights function. No issue. Uh, it does have the, the rally pack. Um, this does work. There is a little wire issue. I think the wire was hooked up incorrectly in here, but it does function once in a while. Uh, all these gauges function correctly. No issue. I'll show you that when I start it up. Decent center console. I'll show you this door jam quick. We're already at eight minutes, so i got to pick up the pace a little bit. Very nice. Now I'm going to start the car up. So you can listen to that. Two pumps of the gas. Not touching the gas, it's island beautiful. We'll get out, take you around. speak of at all. Take you up here in the engine department. Nice and quiet. No noise in the motor at all. No leaks to speak of. Nice and dry up in here. No leaks on the exhaust. No leaks on the oil pan underneath. No leaks on the intake. Nothing like that. Show the gauges in here as well. <clears throat> Fuel gauge functions, oil gauge functions. The temp, you can see, I didn't have it running long. If anybody has any questions on this beautiful 65 Ford Mustang, Please give me a call.